This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly share with you five programs that are awesome tools for working with music and audio on your computer. These programs are Audacity, Linux Multimedia Studio, Ardour, Mix, and Spec. And all of these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. They're also all open source software. And if you want to download them and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. Um, let's take a look at this first program, Audacity. Audacity is an audio recording tool. Now this, this blue part here is actually the audio file I just barely recorded. I can play it. Audacity is an audio recording tool. Okay, we can then apply different effects to this audio file I just recorded. We can, for example, for a dramatic effect, we can reverse the whole selection. You can use this program for a lot, a lot of things. It's, it's pretty easy to use. has a simple interface. Um, you can use it, for example, you can take the lyrics off of a song, so you have just a karaoke type version. Um, you can take an audio recording, you can change the pitch, the speed, the tempo, you can amplify it. Um, it's just got a, a great, um, a lot of different effects you can use, and it's great for recording and capturing audio. And then you can export it in like WAV format. Um, you can also get plugins to export it in MP3 format and things like that. And then you can use those recordings to in, in some of these other programs we're going to look at. Audacity works on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. So does this next one, Linux Multimedia Studio. It'll work on Linux, Macintosh, and Windows. And it is a program very similar to Fruity Loop Studio. So you can create some uh, some pretty cool music with it. You can create you can use audio samples like things that you record yourself, or you can also create synthesized music. I'll show you an example of a of a piece of a demo that comes with the program. You can listen to each track individually. Here's the bass line. This is one of the melody parts. Okay, has a pretty cool, this bass, bass line editor is pretty easy to use. As far as the melodies and things, you can edit them. This has a keyboard. If you have a MIDI keyboard, you can input it that way, or you can just click and move, move these notes around. And then when you play it, so we've kind of changed the, the way that song's supposed to be there. Um, yeah, lots of cool things. Has a bunch of built-in um, synthesizing tools and effects and cool stuff like that. So fun one to play with, LMMS. Um, our door, this program is a Linux-only program, and it's a it's an audio workstation. It's great for recording, taking recorded um, tracks and piecing them together like you would in a recording studio. You record the audio and then the drums and the different instruments. Here's two guitar pieces that I recorded in, or two guitar parts that I tried to sync together. It lets you drag. You can drag the different parts around. And uh, you can also apply lots of different effects similar to what you can do in Audacity. But it's designed for working with multiple tracks, our door is. And again, uh, this one is a Linux-only program. You have to use... I'm running Windows 7. The reason you can I can show it to you is because I'm running a virtual machine. So that's an option, too. If you have a Windows computer and you want to still use our door, you can install a, a vir virtual Linux machine to use it. This next program, Mix is a DJ mixing tool. You can use it for live broadcasting or for for dances, clubs, parties, things like that. Um, I'll just show you a sample of what it can do. So all d just different kinds of effects and you drag and drop these up to here. Let me show you if I pause this one. I can drag a new one in over here. And then when we start playing it, we can mix over to it. Um, it has a, like the disc things here. Anyway, it's a fun one. Fun one to play with. You can you can uh, get out of everything. You can uh, export, you can save and record your files, your uh, music that you create with it too. And you can also set it up to do like an auto DJ where you put a bunch of songs and it'll jump to the next one and play and kind of mix, um, mix your music together that way. 
Anyway, spec's this last one I want to show you. And spec is a spectrogram analyzer for MP3 and a couple different audio formats of uh, audio files. So it shows you, um, for example, you can. It tells you the, the the quality. It visually represents the quality of an audio file. Is what I use it for anyway. So if I go to, uh, like, I have a, a file here that's I can throw it in here, and I can tell right away that it's been the tops of all these of the of the audio files been clipped off. So even though it says it's a it's a high high quality audio file from the specs of it, <laughs> um, it's going to be. Uh, I can tell that it's not really that great, and I guess you can, in theory, you can tell by listening to it too. But it's a great tool for just for a quick glance at what your what kind of audio file your your what kind of quality of audio you're you're going to be working with. Okay, well, those are the programs I wanted to share with you today. Appreciate your time in watching this video. Check out my other ones where I've got another video on music composition, like for composing sheet music. You might be interested in that. Um, but yeah, check out my other videos and have a great day.